Now from Chase Field in the capital city of Phoenix, Arizona, MLB The Show is on the air. We've got an NL Western Division showdown tonight between the San Diego Padres and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Major League Baseball on MLB Network coming up right after this. Merrill Kelly is on the mound for the Diamondbacks. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, Matty, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's really struggled lately. ERA over nine in his last three starts, and he has to do a lot better. This guy isn't that bad of a pitcher. One San of the Diego. keys, he needs to start limiting the number of hits Tommy and to limit the number Man. of base on balls. It'll be interesting to see if he can turn things around in this one here today. Calhoun has a read on it, one away. The second a chance now to give you a look at the Padres starting lineup. Who are you focused on Dan please Zach? Well I love watching Manny Machado do his thing. He walked away with the Silver Slugger Award for third baseman last year by putting up some impressive numbers. And I'll tell you what I think he's got a great chance to win it again. Up next Jake Cronenworth lifetime versus this arm a number of meetings he's one for seven. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and that finds its way into center for a one out base hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. Well, guys, you take a look at this Diamondback squad as they begin play here tonight. They've been hot of late, winners in four straight. Yeah, Maddie, this is going to be an interesting watch for me. I can only think back to when you're facing an ace. The team's playing well, you're confident. You go to the ballpark and you want to set the tone. Everybody's in the hitters' meetings trying to formulate a game plan to combat what this guy's been able to do throughout the course of the season so far. This should be an interesting game of cat and mouse today. The 1 1 home is in there for strike number two. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. One of the toughest pitches to hit, the straight changeup, right? El Cambio. Hadn't seen it in that entire at bat. And what happens? Gets the string pulled on him right there. Had no chance to put that ball in play. And prior to the first pitch, you look to first. And the runner back. Here's Manny Machado now as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. He comes in with that average down in the 240s. One home run and four RBIs. A ball and a strike now to Machado. One one home is in there for the second strike. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he'd swing it that way. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Hit out towards second. Cabrera's up with it. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. One left for San Diego. And now Arizona gets its first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. Blake Snell will be on the bump for game two of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? 
Boy, here's an interesting pitcher. He actually pitches better on the road than he has at home this season, which is not an easy thing to do. Sometimes guys just like being on the road, being in a different hotel, uh, warming up and going out onto a different mound. Whatever the case, the this guy pass. definitely loves Not pitching stop. on the road. Nick. Now with the plate is oh, Nick man. Ahmed. He'll lead things off here oh, in the bottom does. half of the first. Guys, the swing and Friars as they take the field here tonight, they continue to fall on hard times, losing again last time out, and that makes seven losses in their last eight games. One and Aye. one to the D-backs leadoff man. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Drilled to first. Throws in time, and that's out number one. That is second. The first baseman. And now here's a look at the Diamondbacks starting lineup. What's the key for a home victory tonight, Dero? Well, Matt, you walk into this yard today and it's nothing but a hitter's park. But that could work against you at times. You have to stay within yourself. You can't just be turning and burning on everything. Stay within the game plan and know that a mistake doubles leaving this yard. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Christian Walker comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. Walker was born in the state of Pennsylvania. He was a fourth-round selection during the first-year player draft of 2012. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds. And he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. The one two is a breaking ball that can't find the zone and it's even at two. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. You know we'll see him work both sides of the plate with his curveball. Maybe not that far in but he'll move that pitch around the zone to give it a different look. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. And he fouls this one off. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Fouled away. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. Fouled off. Another payoff pitch. And it's fouled away. And he missed with that one. It's ball four. A one out walk here in the home first. That was a great battle right there. He tried to get it to chase, but he laid off some really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. Next, it'll be David Peralta. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. From the belt, kicks and deals. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Myers is under it, and he makes the catch for the second out. Batting four. The center fielder. Touchdown. So here's the cleanup Marte. hitter for Arizona, Cattell Marte, looking to stay hot. He's been a real threat at the plate the last week or so. From the stretch, a high 
high fastball is in there. Previous history with Blake Snell, a number of meetings, he's one for seven. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Popped him up. Nola has a play. And that's the third out. One left for Arizona. Still no score. The first baseman Eric Hosmer is in. He's ready for his Leading first at bat Diego. of this early season contest. Baseman, Eric Hosmer. The pitch. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. Into the windup and the pitch. Pulled high in the air out to right field. On the move is Calhoun. He's around first, heading for two. And this one bounds around against the wall. And he'll make it in safely as he kicks off the second with a leadoff triple. Yeah, and after that one, it looks like the first one of the game could be coming pretty soon. He got a pitch that he liked, and he roped it to the outfield. Then he showed the speed necessary to make it all the way around to third. Here's Will Myers as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He'll enter play here at 293. Two home runs, 10 RBIs. One and no pitch on the way. Hit on the ground to third. He's right there. Throw on to first in time, one away. Got it, got it. All right, here's the defensive alignment for the Arizona Diamondbacks. And guys, taking a look at this, this defense is going to have to be stout today. Starting pitcher with an ERA north of five usually spells some barrels being found by the opposition. So these guys better be on their toes in this one. That'll bring up Austin Nola as the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. He'll check in with an average still south of 230. Two home runs and a dozen RBIs. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Long run for the center fielder. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. The Got his job done there and made it look pretty three. simple. Got it into the outfield to bring home the first run of the game and pick up the RBI. And now pitch on the way. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Time to be aggressive with these hitters now. After that sack fly, now it's time to try to get out of this inning with only one run scored. The 1 0 home. Hey. Padres an early 1 0 lead here in the second. Yeah. Fastball called strike. 1 and 2. Not likely to see a fourth fastball in this situation. I'm going to eliminate the fastball if I'm at the plate right here. Breaking ball misses the corner. Two balls and two strikes. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And he fouls this one off. 
two out, nobody on. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. So one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left. On now to the bottom of the second. It's the Padres one, and the Diamondbacks nothing. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll give way to the veteran the second time baseman, time. as Drupal Cabrera. As Drupal. Cabrera. First offering on its way. Strike one to start the at bat. Skied into straightaway right. Myers is under it. One away. Batting fit. No, third base. So here's how the San Diego Padres are positioned defensively. And let's focus on Manny Machado, 2015 Gold Glove winner. Get the mantle space ready. He's going to add more to that. On the defensive side, he's a highlight reel at the hot corner. So here's Eduardo Escobar as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Previous history with Blake Snell, he's 0 for 7. One out, nobody on. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Let's see if he tries to climb the ladder right here, change his eye level, or bounce something in the dirt. Line to the right side, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. There's a lot of moving parts in some guys' swings. It usually takes them a month Batting or so seven. to get it ironed out. The right fielder, Cole Calhoun. Cole Calhoun will stand in now as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. He's got that batting average even at a point where even a one for five will gain him some points. Four home runs and five driven in. The one and oh delivery. Inside with the breaking ball two and oh. When hitters are able to lay off curveballs and get themselves into good counts because of it. You're in pretty big trouble as a pitcher. A lot of guys rely on their opponents offering at that pitch, even when it's not in a good location to hit. Two and one now. From the belt, the pitch. Carson Kelly, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. Runner at first here, one man out. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Myers on the move. And he makes the catch in the corner. Batting eight. The catcher. Carson. Kelly. Into the box. Carson Kelly. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. He'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. And he falls behind 0-2. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit, 1-2. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition to let that one go. Opposite handed that's coming across the plate. You might think you got a shot to stay inside that one. Escobar leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. 
And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Cronenworth is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Clearly enjoying their time here at the ballpark, as are we. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Blake Snell, 9 1 and 2 do up. Here's the first pitch. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there, and I expect him to catch something clean. Fouled away. The next 0 2. That's a ball. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that first strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. The 1 2. Oh, this one bounces off the pitcher. He's safe. Oh, he's a great recovery, but he couldn't get it there in time. Riley Smith please. is forced onto the now mound now following the, the injury. Number 46. Riley. Stepping in now, Tommy now Pham. Pham. As Left he'll take a look at a slider Tommy. here that misses for ball Pham. one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. No. Hey, always a good idea to take a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. And now he's put himself in a real good hitter's count. Here comes the 2 0 pitch. Even though that wasn't a fastball, it's never fun seeing a pitch come right at your head. Your first thing is to dive out of the way. It's not to see if you could see the stitching of a slider and decipher whether or not it's a fastball. One there. He's out. On to first, so he comes right out of the bullpen and gets the double play. God, I love that out of your reliever, right? The first battery he faces, he gets to roll over into a double play. Hold the right string that time, Skip. And at the plate is Jake Cronenworth. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. A base hit in his first trip. Here's the 0-1. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit hard back up the middle. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Padres go down quietly, but they're on top one to nothing. Welcome back. The Diamondbacks are set to hit here in the third inning, and this offense has certainly not disappointed this year. 
Entering the day, they rank among the best teams in the league in stolen bases. A lot of teams these days rely more on big swings at the bat to generate offense. But when I asked a member of the coaching staff about their approach on the bases, he told me they're simply playing into their strengths. He said they have a lot of really athletic guys, so it would be misguided to not be aggressive and force the other guys to prove they can stop Lead them. To go for the Something to keep an eye on as this one no moves pitcher. forward. All, All right, way. thanks, Heidi. First pitch on its way. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. 2 0 now. Here's the pitch. Popped up. Nola over to his right. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. The bat. Not shortstop. Dick. Oh, man. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Nick Ahmed. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Nope, at the ball. Bases are empty, one man out. This for Machado down at third, and that's the second out. Now batting, first baseman, Christian Walker. So now here is Christian Walker, worked a walk his first time up. Here's the pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Two out, nobody on. One ball and one strike to the Diamondbacks' first baseman. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Two, one. Ball that jumps up. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. Full count. And an early birthday gift as he swings and misses at ball four. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. And this oh, misses it. for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Well, that was a slider in a 3 2 count. It just Let didn't tempt him enough to get a good back. swing. A good job of pitch oh, recognition oh, no. and knowing the strike zone to draw the free pass there. Digging in will be David Peralta. Flyed out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. From the belt, kicks and deals. Slider finds the zone for a strike. A count of one ball, one strike to David Peralta. Now the one and one pitch. Yeah, Matt, you see the same pitch three times in a row and you find yourself down one and two in the count. Your head starts to get on a swivel here. Is he coming back with it four times or do I have to sit on something else? Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. One left for the Diamondbacks. It remains one nothing. Set for the start of the inning, and that will bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. The shortstop, Fernando Tatis Jr. Now the first pitch. Oh, and one the count. 
Tatis has all the necessary skills to play great defense on the left side of the infield and it makes him really fun to watch. He can pick it with the best of them but what sets him apart is the huge arm. It's accurate. It's incredibly strong. Certainly has the ability to uncork a throw and beat a runner when he needs to and it's impressive to watch. Yeah anybody that has the ability to go to their backhand and to absolutely fire a cannon across the infield is a huge asset to have. Sent on the ground out to second. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, D Row, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player. Fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. And in steps Manny Machado. There's a breaking ball but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 1 0 home is looked at for ball number two. You thank your lucky stars when you get a chance to hit behind a guy with as much speed as he has on first base. The entire defense is on guard and you know probably there's a fastball coming. Tatis aboard here at first with nobody out. Now a pitch swung on and missed. It's two and one. From the belt, the pitch. And there he goes towards second. And a flip to first from Cabrera in time for the first down. The batter, the first baseman, Eric Hosmer. So a runner on second with one down now. And standing in, here's the first baseman, Eric Hosmer. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Line drive base hit. Tatis rounds the corner and is headed home. And he's safe at the plate. And they now lead by two. You love the aggressive base running right there. It's not easy to make that throw and give that catcher time to adjust his feet and get that tag down. No, very aggressive send right there. You take a chance. You hope the throw is a little bit offline, and that paid off right there. So here's Will Myers as he'll take a look at ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. Two runs, five hits, no errors in the ball game for the Padres. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. Taken, and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. Wow, I'm shocked the hitter took it right there. That's a well executed pitch down in the zone to try and get that double play. Three one home to Myers lifted in the air out towards left center Peralta is under it two gone now batting catcher Austin Nola. Stepping in next Austin Nola he hit a sack fly earlier. Set and the pitch. Oh, hey, this pitcher's going to have to step off the mound right here and refocus. Take a deep breath, something. Can't keep falling behind and creating traffic. It puts everybody on edge, not only himself, his defense, and especially his manager. Here's a fly ball, well hit. 
And this hops over the wall out there for a ground rule double. And maybe a tough break as that'll freeze the runner in third with two gone. And now time is called here as their pitching coach is going to pay a quick visit to the mound to discuss how they want to attack things here. Into hit will be Trent Grisham. And he puts it on the ground to second. Taken there by Cabrera. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. Friars forced to settle for just the one. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that'll go. bring up the Where's infielder, the Cattell Marte. The offense field. needs to get going right Cattell. here. You want to try and tighten up this game Marte. a little bit before it starts to get into that territory where you're going to start seeing the back end of each bullpen. As he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little. It's 0-1. One and one. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. A one one. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. Myers moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. Now batting. Second baseman, Osdrubal Cabrera. So the leadoff man sat down here for Esdrubal Cabrera. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Pulled the fastball down a little too much there. That's ball one. Tough to do much with that one. A swing and a miss. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. One out, nobody on. And he checks his swing. Did he go around? Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 nope. change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Comes with the fastball, but it's outside for ball four. The third baseman, number five, Eduardo. So one gun in the inning Escobar. here with a runner at first, and that will bring up Eduardo Escobar. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Myers is under it, and that's the second out of the inning. Now batting, right fielder, goal, Calhoun. Next to hit is Cole Calhoun. Flew out in his only at bat so far. First offering. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Cabrera is off of first with two away. And there's ball two now. Fouled off. The 2 2 is looked at for ball three. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Fastball strike three called on the outside corner, and he can't believe it. I don't blame him, but the inning is over. One left for Arizona. They trail it here two to nothing. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the pitcher, the Blake Snell. The pitcher, Blake Snell. Yeah. 
First pitch coming. Here it is. Lifted down the line in left. After it is Peralta. He can't get to it. This one's down. He came to play today. Not just only on the bump right there. He's thrown now the ball back. well, but on the so offensive side of the ball, he's Coming. able to contribute and help this offense put itself in position to score some more runs. At the plate, Tommy Pham, as the sinker to him, finds the zone for strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. One pitch. One ball. Classic strikeout pitch right there on 0-2. It's the one we know he loves going to, but great recognition to lay off in that spot. Nobody out, runner on first. The one two offering looked like a slider that time but it's two and two. From the belt kicks and deals on oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Just tied him up with that last pitch. Pretty evident by the swing. Sometimes guys get in that protect mode so much that they're swinging at everything that they see, and they end up offering at pitches that they can't possibly do anything with. At the plate now, Jake Cronenworth. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. Runners on first with one down. Grounded back up the middle. Ahmed to his left. He's got it. There's one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Nothing doing there for the Friars. They're up two to nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, during the commercial break, I had a chance to catch up with manager Tori Lavello about the Diamondbacks' offensive production. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've already worked out three walks, so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to result in good things for them on the scoreboard. Thank you, Heidi. Now to the plate, Carson Kelly. He leads off in the bottom of the fifth as they Lead look to, to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in the this catcher. one. Yeah, no Carson. doubt about it. You can tell in between Kelly. innings the veterans in that dugout going up and down the line, trying to keep this lineup from getting super frustrated. They just have to find a way to piece it together, maybe pass the baton, get some wheels in motion, maybe get aggressive on the base pass if they can get somebody on. As he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1-0. Looks like double barreled action now in the San Diego bullpen as they get a lefty and a right hander up to throw. A ball and a strike. One and one. Ball Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Well, that's a tough call for Blue right there. Either way you call it, somebody doesn't like it. But hey, that's the life of an umpire. And it's fouled away. The 2-2. Two -two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. He might have been sitting on an off-speed pitch, pitcher, but instead he gets the fastball way Lightly. late. Had no chance to put that Smith. ball in play. Geraldo Perdomo will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Shooting for the diamond. Number 82, Geraldo Perdomo. Now 
Here's the first offering. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a liner. And that'll take care of the pinch hitter here for route number two. The batter number 13. Shortstop, Nick. Oh, man. Back to the top spot in the Arizona lineup now and stepping in, Nick Ahmed. Couple of ground outs on his batting line in two trips so far. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. Kind of a surprise not to see a fastball in the first pitch there. The guy is probably taking at least one pitch to give his pitcher a chance to sit down after he already made the second out. Now the 1-0. Misses for the second ball. Three and oh now. Yeah, he's all over the place right now. No doubt he's clearly fighting his mechanics. The 3 0 pitch. And that one's taken outside for a ball. We walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. Well, they've been now unable to get to this guy, so they'll take base runners any way they can get him. At the very least, you make him work from the stretch and add to his pitch total. Next to hit, Christian Walker. It was a walk in his last trip. Here it comes. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. Ahmed, the runner at first with two gone. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Uh, good break to that thing, and it's one and two. He hasn't thrown that pitch much all game. I got to believe as an offense, you just got to throw that pitch away and move on to the next one. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. One left for the Diamondbacks. They trail things here two to nothing. Chris Davinsky takes over to start the now, sixth inning the on the mound. Number 32, Fred Davinsky. Top half of the sixth about to get started and stepping up is the shortstop, Fernando Tatis Jr. Fernando Tatis And now the first pitch. Jr. A ball and no strikes. Action now in the Arizona bullpen as they have a right-hander up and throwing. Swing and a miss, one and one. That's not a pitch he misses very often. He knows he should have done something with that one. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. All even now. Two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Wow, that's the case right there where a pitcher knows this guy's up there and he's in swing mode. 
That pitch wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he still swung at it. So now to the plate, Manny Machado. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. No hits to this point. The 1 0. I'm sorry, that's cool. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. The 2-2. Two -two. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. One out, nobody on. And he strikes him out as well. So two punch outs to begin the outing out of the pen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Eric Hosmer to the plate now. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low. It's ball one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. That evens it up one and one. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Now the one and one pitch. Aye. Boy, he looks strong up there on the mound this inning. He's got a chance to punch out the side in order and against the middle of the order, too. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. Padres down in order as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. Craig Stammen enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 34, Craig Stammen. Ready now for the Diamondbacks. David Peralta, lifetime versus Craig Stammen. He's gone just two for 13. He's taken him deep once. Peralta. First pitch on the way. He swings and grounds it to short. Reined in. And the inning begins with a quick out number one. Now so with one away Center now, let's Hilbert. quickly give you a look Pitch at the standings in the National League West Mark entering play Day. today as you see where these two teams sit in relation to one another. So here's the cleanup hitter. Cattell Marte flew out last time up. From the stretch. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. This offense has been underachieving all day, putting way too much pressure on their own pitching staff. Someone has to have a quality AB and get this line going. The 0 
one. Slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. Here comes the one-two. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. And quickly there are two away. The batter number 14. Second baseman. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. He hits with two away as they continue to trail in this close game. Well, Matt, this has been a big hitting on the mound. He's had to face the middle of the order, and so far he's held them at bay. Yeah, this feels like the kind of inning we'll look back on at the end of the game, even if the result of it changes dramatically here. Here's the first pitch. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. Oh, I had him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0-2. After that off balance swing right there you find yourself down 0 2 and wishing you were back on deck with the donut on your bat visualizing hitting a home run. And look out as that one ran in and got him. And I'm sure that one stings a little bit. The best revenge he can get for his pain is to find a way to come around the score. We'll see if his guys can move him around the bases. Eduardo Escobar standing in lifetime versus Craig Stammen. He's a 333 hitter. From the stretch, here's the pitch. No runs, just one hit. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. One and two now. One ball, two straight. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on two its ball, way. And straight. a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Still even at two and two. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be laid on that fastball. Lifted the other way out to left center. Left fielder giving chase. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. One left for Arizona. They're still down. It's two nothing. Yohan Lopez Your is on to pitch please. from the bullpen now to now start inning number seven. Number 50. Now to bat, Will Myers. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Good fastball down around the knees there. Taken for a strike. And one here it comes. A 
ball and two strikes now. 